Our people need to eat. They need to earn a living. Companies need to be able to produce and to trade. They need to generate revenue and keep their employees in employment. We have accordingly decided that beyond Thursday the 30th of April, we should begin a gradual and phased recovery of economic activity. We will implement what we call a risk-adjusted strategy through which we take a deliberate and cautious approach to the easing of current lockdown restrictions. We have decided on this approach because there is still much that is unknown about the rate and the manner of the spread of the virus within our own population. The action we take now must therefore be measured and incremental. This approach is guided by the advice from scientists who have advised that an abrupt and uncontrolled lifting of restrictions could cause a massive resurgence in infections. We cannot take action today that we will deeply regret tomorrow. We must avoid a rushed reopening that could risk a spread which would need to be followed by another hard lockdown, as has happened in other countries. We have to balance the need to resume economic activity with the imperative to contain the virus and save lives. To achieve this, we have developed an approach that determines the measures we should have in place based on the direction of the pandemic in our country. As part of this approach, there will be five coronavirus levels. The first level is what we call level five, which means that drastic measures are required to contain the spread of the virus to save lives. Level four means that some activity can be allowed to resume subject to extreme precautions required to limit community transmission and outbreaks. Level three involves the easing of some restrictions, including on work and social activities to address high risk of transmission. Level two involves the further easing of restrictions but the maintenance of physical distancing and restrictions on some leisure and social activities to prevent a resurgence of the virus. Level one means that most normal activity can resume with precautions and health guidelines followed at all times. To ensure that our response to the pandemic can be as precise and targeted as possible, there will be a national level and separate levels for each province, district, and metro in the country. We are currently at level five, which requires a full national lockdown to contain the spread of the virus. This is the highest level of lockdown and was imposed when drastic action was necessary to curb transmission. The National Coronavirus Command Council will determine the level based on an assessment of the infection rate and the capacity of our health system to provide care for those who need it. We have undertaken a detailed exercise to classify the different parts of the economy according to the risk of transmission in that sector, the expected impact of the lockdown, the economic contribution of the sector, 
and the effect on livelihoods. Our ministers will provide a detailed briefing on the classification of industries and how each is affected at each level. We will give all industry bodies an opportunity to consider these details and should they wish to make submissions before new regulations are gazetted, they are free to do so. The National Com Coronavirus Command Council met earlier today and determined that the National Co Coronavirus Alert Level will be lowered from Level 5 to Level 4, with effect from Friday, the 1st of May. This means that some activity will be allowed to resume subject to extreme precautions to limit community transmission and outbreaks. Some businesses will be allowed to resume operations under specific conditions. Every business will have to adhere to detailed health and safety protocols to protect their employees and workplace plans will have to be put in place to enable disease surveillance and prevent the spread of infection. All businesses that are permitted to resume operations will be required to do so in a phased manner. First, preparing the workplace for a return to operations followed by the return of the workforce in batches of no more than one-third of their workforce. In some cases, a sector will not be able to return to full production during level four, while the risk of infection remains high. These will be spelled out next week following a final round of consultations. Businesses will be encouraged to adopt a work-from-home strategy where possible. All staff who can work remotely must be allowed to do so. The relevant ministers will provide details on the process for the phased reopening of schools and other educational institutions. As we gradually ease the restrictions, it is necessary that many of the measures to contain the spread of the virus remain in place. When the country moves to level four on the 1st of May, the following will happen. Our borders will remain closed to international travel except for the repatriation of South African nationals and foreign citizens. No travel will be allowed between provinces except for the transportation of goods and exceptional circumstances such as funerals. Public transport will continue to operate with limitations on the number of passengers and stringent hygiene requirements, including that all passengers must wear a face mask. The public is encouraged to stay at home other than for essential personal movement, doing essential work and work in sectors that are under controlled opening. People can exercise under strict public health conditions. That will be spelled out. All gatherings, apart from funerals and for work, will remain prohibited. Those who are elderly and those with underlying conditions must remain at home and take additional precautions to isolate themselves. The, the sale of cigarettes will be permitted. The range of goods that may be sold will be extended 
to incorporate certain additional categories. These will be detailed by the relevant ministers. It is important to note that several restrictions will remain in place regardless of the level of alert for as long as the risk of transmission is present. For instance, bars and shibins will remain closed. Conference and convention centers, entertainment venues, cinemas, theaters, and concerts will remain closed. Concerts and sporting events and religious, cultural, and social gatherings will not be allowed until it is deemed safe for them to continue. The coronavirus is spread, as we have said before, by contact between people. If people do not travel and move around, the virus does not travel. As we begin the easing of lockdown restrictions from the beginning of May, we are calling on all South Africans to wear a face mask. mask whenever you leave home. Our clothing, clothing and textile industry, including small businesses, are gearing up to produce these masks on a mass scale. This is a crucial moment in our struggle against the virus. It is a time for caution. It is also a time to act responsibly but it is also a time for patience. There is no person who does not want to return to work and to normal life. There is no company that does not want to reopen its doors for normal economic activity. And there is no student who does not want to return to their classrooms and to their studies. Yet we are all called upon at some time in our lives to make great sacrifices for our own future and for the future of others. There are times when we must endure hardship and difficulty so that we can enjoy freedom and prosperity into the future. During the past five weeks, we have demonstrated to the entire world what a nation can achieve with courage determination and solidarity. We must not give up now. I'm asking you to stay strong and focused. I'm asking you to remain united. Let us continue staying at home. Let us continue staying safe. And thank you for all that you have done and continue to do. May God continue to bless South Africa and continue to protect her people. I thank you. Thank you. For more, go to ewn.co.za.